What's up? It's your girl Kia, and you're kicking it with Kia, and I'm in the car. Ha <laughs> ha I feel like this whole not being in the car, being in the car thing is gonna be like a running joke for me for a while. Let me just adjust this camera a little bit. There we go. Just left the gym, no makeup, look like crap, whatever. So, real quick, before I get into my topic for right now, make sure you check me out on Mocha in the Morning. I will make sure I start posting the links of the talk show that I do. Um, shout out to Tampa Bay, Florida. It's a really awesome talk show. Me for the people and I am the messy reporter who brings all the tea for a lot of the hot topics, including politics. So that's that. Um, did anybody watch the Dr. Phil that came on the other day with the girl who is black, who identified as white? Her name is Treasure. Did anybody else watch that episode? I didn't watch the full episode because I don't watch Dr. Phil. I work in the middle of the day, so I, I don't get to see it. So I actually went on YouTube and found all the clips, like the five minute clips that Dr. Phil puts up. And they put up about five or six, so you kind of get the gist of the show. So basically what it's about, is about an African American girl with a black mom, um, whose mom got married to a white guy when she was very, very little. And the mom just kind of said, well, he's your dad. She said it to both kids. He's your birth dad. He's your biological child. You guys are biracial. These children are clearly not biracial. They are black children, 100% black. So when the white guy died, the mother decided that she was going to finally tell them that that, that wasn't that their biological father. It was actually their stepdad. The son took it hard, but got over it. The daughter got upset and angry and is still identifying as white. She's going as far as to say that black people are disgusting. Black people are, you know, just they're low class. She's above them. She has white hair, white features. She looks white. She's a body of Kim Kardashian. None of this stuff is true. She does not have the nose of a white girl. She does not have the lips of a white girl. She does not have the body of Kim Kardashian. She's a very thin girl. She does have a frame of someone Caucasian. She's very, very thin. But everything else, she's black. Her hair, she say it's na she says it's naturally straight. Okay, I, I know a perm when I see one. And maybe her mom is calling it conditioner, or maybe they're telling her something at the salon. But that girl does not have naturally straight hair. But whatever. So she goes on Dr. Phil. And she just starts spouting all this stuff about even wanting to be in the KKK and how, you know, she doesn't want to hang around niggers. And it was just, it was the most ridiculous and saddest thing I've ever seen because it really showed self hate. So, the one part of the show that I'm missing that I'm hoping someone can drop into my comments and explain is was the wife, the black, the mom, the black mom, ex husband, the white guy who's the treasure thinks is her dad. Was he racist? Because this doesn't come from thinking that you're white. This doesn't come from thinking that you're biracial. This comes from someone who has impl implanted this in you. Hate is grown, it's not born. So for her to think these awful things about African Americans, did it come from her stepdad? Was her stepdad racist? Did he just marry a black woman because the black woman was lighter skinned and wore the wig and kind of looked biracial? Because this girl has a real hate for herself. I mean, the stuff she was saying, about how black people just don't take care of anything and they steal and they walk into Chanel, they deserve to get arrested. How she, you know, the whole KKK thing, it was just so much just hate for just to be, I think I'm white. There are absolutely people who think they're transracial. I, I get it, Rachel Dolezal, I blame all of this on you. But for her to have this kind of visceral hate towards African-Americans, I feel like this has been grown in her by the white, you know, stepdad. Also, I don't know if this was brought up either, but her mom, your, her mom is African-American. Has she not instilled in her as an African-American how beautiful it is to be black? How amazing it is to be black? Because that's, as little girls, we get our beauty and our thought about what beautiful is from our moms. So what was her mom doing? I don't understand how this girl has gotten to the age of 16 and one thinks she's white and two thinks that black is ugly. And black is something to not be valued. I mean, even as a little girl, the mom said that she wouldn't play with other little black children. So which one of these parents is putting this nastiness into her head? This is not just something she was born with. I just thought the episode was crazy. I'm sidelined hoping that it was fake because there's no way in the world that this girl has gotten this far thinking as black as she is, one, that she's white, and two, that... She, her own skin color and her own self is ugly it is so it's so sad they had a black woman there who very educated and dr phil was really respectful just kind of saying yo this is a, this is a smart intelligent 
awesome black woman, you know, she's going to, you know, let's let's hear your, your opinion. And the black woman said something profound, like, you have a lot of self-hate and I would love to bring you around black women so that you can see how awesome it is to be a black woman. woman. And the girl very rudely said, I don't want to hang around a group of niggers. And that to me was like, yeah, I'm done. I, I can't with this. Why would you, again, why is there so much self-hate? Where was the mom when she was little during the formative years to kind of say, being black isn't bad. Being black is beautiful. Being black is different. It's unique. And the girl is just, she's ugly on the inside, which makes her ugly on the outside. And she's a cute girl. I mean, the gap in her teeth was a little much, but she's a cute girl. How could she look in the mirror and not see that my dark skin that's darker than most African-Americans is beautiful. I don't know. I thought the episode was really sad. If anybody else has other clips, feel free to drop down in the comments and share. If you have any comments, drop down in the comments, let me know, because this was definitely one of those crazy episodes, almost as crazy as the I Married a Tyler Perry lady, because that lady was also crazy. So I don't know. Let me know. Talk to you later.